Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I hope those are watching this tutorial are doing great and having good health. And in this video, uh, I'm going to explain a very important equations of the chapter wave and sounds. As you know that in my previous two tutorials, I explained about the topics uh, which should be covered in the chapter uh, wave and uh, the definition types and characteristics of wave and then I explained some uh, related wave related quantities that was very very important to know and in this tutorial uh, this is a level one type of uh, explanation if you consider then there are some level two and level three type of problems that we need to complete and we need to understand the concept to solve it so do you know that v equal f lambda is one of the key equation of this chapter so we need to know how it forms and how to use it to solve this similar type of questions though it's very easy but it's for the beginner beginner level students those who are studying first time wave it's for them but there are some critical questions too that we need to solve so i hope you already know that what is V, that is wavelength, and F is the frequency, and the lambda is the wavelength. If we know the concept, then we need to think about it. Suppose this is a transverse wave. So all these waves has a crest and a trough, and these complete vibrations, it travels some amount of distance. If I say, that this is the distance so this is actually the lambda which is the wavelength and the time required to complete this complete vibrations that is the time period so we can say that this one complete vibrations the distance is the wavelength and the time required to travel these uh, paths is the time time periods. So now you think the unit of lambda or the wavelength is a meter and the, the unit of time period is second. Now you think about it. If I say that in t second it travels lambda distance or lambda meter in t seconds and now if I say that in one second it travels lambda by t distance. So what is the definition of wavelength? Wavelength says that the wave that is the time travel by in the distance, I mean the distance travel by the time. So the velocity means the distance divided by the time. So if I say that lambda is the complete vibrations the distance and this is the t that is the time required so we can say that v is equal lambda by t v equal lambda by t and now if you think that previously we know that f is the frequency is equal 1 divided by t because we know that t is the time period and f is the frequency frequency means the number of vibrations or complete vibrations done per one second that means that f is equal 1 by t so i already explained it so if i say that v is equal lambda times 1 by t from it then i also can say that v equal f lambda so the v equal f lambda is the equations so that is the relationship between the wavelength frequency and the time period so I, I didn't write anything a narrative but I hope you know the concept that that is a complete vibrations the time required is capital T and that is the lambda is the wavelength and this is how it actually deduce so f is equal f lambda v equal f lambda so the v is the wavelength f is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength now you think that v is velocity so its unit is actually meter per second and now 
F is the frequency and you know that the unit of frequency is hertz times lambda is the length so it's meter and you know that this hertz is actually per second so we can say that is meter per second so unit are same so V equal F lambda is the equations that we need to use to solve this type of problems now think about what are the problems suppose in your question paper something like this is drawn and some questions is asked how to think it how to think you see in this wave from A to B is a complete vibrations so from A to B is a complete vibrations and again from B to C another complete vibrations and if you see that from C to D there is another complete vibrations but the distance is given from this point which is the midpoint of C to D that means the distance is 10 cm if the question says that it's done by 2 milliseconds suppose so we can say that in 2 milliseconds it travels 10 cm now what is the data is given time is given and the distance is given now the question is what is the frequency of the wave so if the question says that what is the v frequency of the wave that means if I know that v equal f lambda so f is equal to v by lambda so we need to find out the velocity velocity and the wavelength wavelength or what we can say if I find the time we also can find out the f how because if I get t that means t is equal to 1 by f so we will find f is equal 1 by t similarly now you think that how much times it travels 2.5 and that 2.5 times is the length which is 10 cm so the distance is given 10 cm but we need to make it meter and then the time is also given 2 millisecond so it means 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 second so now you think the time is given and d the distance is given so how much time it was traveled if i say that the frequency is the number of vibration by per time so you see that the frequency the number of vibrations here is 2.5 so 2.5 vibrations was completed by 2 millisecond so using this formula we will find the frequency so if I divide 2.5 by 2 milliseconds so we'll have divided by 2 times minus 3 which is 1250 hertz 1250 hertz so the, the vibrations 1250 the frequency of the wave is 1250 hertz now we have lambda uh, we have frequency so if we have frequency and if we have time so we can say that the lambda is what so if I have f this is the frequency so how much times I mean if it travels 2.5 vibrations in 2 milliseconds that we can say that in how much time was required to complete one vibrations that is f is equal 1 by t so f is so t is actually 1 by f so we can say that 1 by 1250 so 1 by 1250 that is actually 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 so 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 second is the time period that means that amount of second is required to complete one vibrations so we can we can find this data from it 
and if you say that lambda so now you see that 2.5 vibrations and the distance is 10 centimeter now we can say what is the lambda lambda is lambda is total distance is 10 centimeter or we can say that 0.1 meter that is distance covered by 2.5 vibrations so now if I divide 0 0.1 0. Uh, 0 0.1 divided by 2.5 that is 0 0.04 meter so that is that is the lambda from the figure so it travels 2.5 vibrations and then it is 10 centimeter so I just divide 0 0.1 meter which is 10 centimeter divided by 2.5 and this is the lambda and now if I find the, the velocity of the wave then V is equal F lambda so you have F which is 1250 you have lambda which is 0 0.04 so if I multiply it 0 0.04 times 1250 we will have 50 so that is actually 50 meter per second so I hope you understand how to use the data and to think about it so at first we got F and then we got the time period and using this time period we have this is just a, just a different thing we got the lambda and then we also get the the wave velocity so all these things was done only watching this data in the figure so i hope you understand is that if something like that is given then how to think think about the second problem so i'm just running it okay and think about the second options is given radio station A and radio station B. So two radio stations, so wavelength means lambda of A is given and the frequency is given. So according to the data, lambda A is 2.30 meter. So meter is given simply. So lambda B is actually 1.5 centimeter. The frequency of A is uh, 600 Hz and frequency of B is 960 Hz. Now the question is, how much time will radio station B will take? Uh, radio station B will take to complete 20 vibrations. How to do it? So we need to find the time period. That means that T is equal to 1 by F as because if we find the time period that means that how much time was required to complete one vibrations so then we can find that how much time radio station B will take to complete 20 vibrations so as it is about B so we can say that 1 by 960 that is the time period of radio station B wave so if I say 1 by 960, which is 1.04, so you can say 1.04 times 10 to the power minus 3 second. That is the time period of the wave of radio station B. Now the question is how much time will take radio station B to complete 20 vibrations. So the time requires for 20 vibrations is 20 t. So simply we can say that 20 times 1.04 10 to the power minus 3 seconds. So we just multiply by 20. So the answer is 0 0.20, 0 0.208 second is the time will radio station B take to complete 20 vibrations. Okay? So I hope you understand. If I say the next question, which is wave of which radio station will travel a longer distance in a shorter time, so we need to think about the V, that means the velocity. So, which radio station has more velocities? 
in case of the wave. So we need to find out the velocity. So I hope you understand this process. Now think about it. That the velocity of radio station A is actually F A lambda A. And in this case, VV is F B lambda B. All are given. But F of radio station A is uh, 600 hertz times lambda is 2.30. But the frequency is 1.57 centimeter. So we need to find it the meter. I mean, the frequency is 960, but we cannot write here 1.5 as because we need to convert it into meter. So if I say 1.5 divided by 100, that is actually 0 0.015. So 0 0.015 would be the right number. So we need to find it the velocity which one has more velocity times 960 that is actually 14.4 14 point really if i did it well 1.5 divided by 100 so it's 0 0.05 times 960 yes this is 14.4 meter per second and now if you see it will be definitely higher times 2.3 that is 1380 1380 meter per second so from the equations we can say the length or the velocity of radio station a wave is much bigger than the frequency or the velocity of radio station b so you can say as the va is greater than vb so the velocity of radio station a wave will pass will traverse more distance in a short time so this is a very simple calculations and very simple explanations. I already said this is level 1 calculations and if we understand this process then some sort of like critical questions that is very common in your question paper basically SSC and O level questions I'll definitely be solving these questions regularly and before going to step of that level we need to understand the basic concept first and that is why I'm explaining it to you. So I hope you watch the full tutorial and if you have any feedback or recommendations do let me in the comment sections of this tutorial so i hope you can study well and stay well see you in the next class take care